All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone or GMS. And I want to say peace and blessings unto the elect. Um, this is something that um, I've been meditating on uh, probably all day long. Because I've been here, uh, I think the only other person I talked, well, I take that back. I went to get my oil changed and I talked to a brother in the camp, you know. And um, I went to the store and picked up a few items before tomorrow because, you know, it's Christmas Eve and everything's going to be closed. But um, other than that, I've been sitting here all day you know not really uh, doing too much just studying a little but something that has just been heavy on my spirit all day is this scripture and I'm gonna read it and then speak on it and this this ain't gonna be too long you know if unless the Lord say otherwise um, um I'm going to just bring the scripture out. This is the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus uh, 26 and 28. It says, there'll be two things that grieve my heart, meaning your mind. Okay. There'll be two things that grieve my heart that make, you know, make you grieve, make you sorrowful, that bring you down, you know. And the third maketh me angry. So this third thing infuriates. Okay. And this is coming from the Heavenly Father all the way down to, the, to, to us. Okay. Because these words. As a matter of fact, let me get a scripture. To explain these scriptures. This is 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse, I mean, uh, chapter 3 and verse 16. It says, all scripture, okay, and that's including the Apocrypha because the Apocrypha is part of the scriptures, okay? It just was removed by a group called the, the Bible Destruction Group back in 1775, uh, I believe, 75 or 76. Um, I could be a year off Brothers know, you know And if you don't know, just look into it Okay But um That includes the, apoc the apocrypha Okay Which means to be hidden away Okay It says all scripture All the words that are written within these books Is given by Inspiration Of the heavenly father Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. These are his words. These words are Yahweh Shai. Lo, I come in the volume of the book. Okay. It is written of it is written of me. Okay. So all these scriptures come from the Heavenly Father. On down through his son, through the Holy Spirit, and had men to to uh scribe these words onto scrolls okay all scripture is given by inspiration of the heavenly father yahweh bashem yahweh shah and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness okay instruction in righteousness everything outside of this doing what these words say is wicked okay this is the standard to live by this is the standard that gives you life eternal okay so I want to go back to uh, Ecclesiasticus or the book of Sirach 26 and 28 there be two things that grieve my heart and the third maketh me angry, okay? 
a man of war that suffered poverty. Now, why did I bring that scripture up? Because you think of a man of war, like, you know, we always use this scripture and uh, speak on, uh, like, the troops that fought in Nam, or, you know, the, the really, <laughs> you can say anybody in the armed forces, man, okay? Unless they, like, way high level, okay? And then even on a grand scale, they don't really have, they don't have riches, okay? They don't have true wealth, okay? It says, you know, Salakia, you know, so we speak on that and we apply that scripture, you know, and use them as, a, as an example. So I've just been meditating on that scripture all day. It says, there'll be two things that grieve my heart, and the third maketh me angry. A man of war that suffered poverty. A man of war that suffered poverty. So the reason why I'm bringing that scripture out is because I was just thinking, just meditating on it all day. I was like, man. that In other words, that makes the Heavenly Father angry. Okay, and we are, you know, of the hopefully lit, and we are at spiritual war, and right now, we're poor, we suffer at poverty, okay, we don't have no true, well, we do, we do have the ultimate wealth, which is these scriptures, but on a, on a carnal level, we don't have uh, wealth, we don't have uh, true riches, okay? So, by this coming out through the Spirit, I just was like, well, that just goes further to prove that the Lord is going to save the elect, you know, because we're fighting a spiritual war. And if that angers the Heavenly Father to see men of war suffer poverty, then... He ain't going to let that go. Okay? We are men fighting a spiritual battle. Okay? Making our bodies a living sacrifice. Isn't that what you do when you go to war? You, make, you present your body as a sacrifice. Whatever you got to do, we march into the battle. Okay? We got, we going and at any cost, I know what I signed up for. That I may lose my life. What do you think it means by being a martyr? Okay, for this word. You hear about that all the time in, in wars. Oh, well, he was a martyr, you know, for his country. He, he dove on a grenade to save his platoon. You know? So we knew what we was getting into and we presenting our bodies a living sacrifice as the scriptures say. And I get it, you know, just for, for edification's sake. And it's the book of Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the heavenly Father, Yahweh which is your reasonable service. So we are at war. We are in a spiritual war. And you know, I was thinking on, you know, because the apostle, the elder apostle Tahar was, uh, you know, Reproving uh, Priest Danyala, telling him he need to make a stance, man. Okay, because we're in a spiritual war. What you just gonna leave your shield laying on the ground and your sword over there, and somebody's coming towards you? No, we are setting the defense of the gospel, man. 
What does that mean to defend? Just like in a war, a physical war, you're defending your country. We're defending the truth, the gospel, which is our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. Okay? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. Exodus 15 and 3. Okay? So, the Most High ain't going to leave us high and dry, man. He's going to, Lord willing, you know, that hopefully let. He's not going to let his elect just suffer poverty, man. Okay? The scriptures speak about a man taller in stature, taller than the rest, or high in, higher in stature, placing crowns upon the elect's heads, man. Okay? And that made me think to put this, this picture up. Because the Lord came and he suffered. He wore a crown of thorns, man. So he went to the battle and laid down his life for us. Which is going to translate over into a crown of everlasting life. Rulership and righteousness. Okay? So that us suffering, men of war suffering, make it. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, angry. Okay? And he's not going to allow that to, to, to go on too much longer. Okay? And like I said, I didn't want to make this long. I just wanted to um, just basically share what was on my spirit. Okay? And that's what prompted this, this um, video. Okay? So I'm going to read this again and um, whatever the spirit deem. Um, Sirach 26 and 28, there be two things that grieve my heart and the third maketh me angry. A man of war that suffered poverty. A man of war that suffered poverty. Our Lord and Savior is on his way back to, to redeem his elect. Okay. The elect got the victory, man. Okay. So, keep fighting. Keep fighting the spiritual battle. Because it makes the Heavenly Father angry to see a man of war suffer poverty. Okay? Um, strive for the truth unto death. Okay? The Lord is our buckler. He'll fight for us as long as we fight for him. Okay, so, you know, like I said, I didn't want to make this long, and now I'm going to end it right there, you know, it just, you know, I just want to, you know, place that through the spirit to go with what we're going through, man, okay, and the Lord ain't going to suffer, let us suffer too much longer, man, okay, so again, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to say peace and blessings to the elect, which consist of you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics, and, and um, the brothers and sisters, okay? Well, the brothers, the 144,000 men, okay, because there is something that's called the confusion of face, okay, and the one third also, you know, but um, that's the elect is gonna come out of those, out of those peoples, okay. So with that, I'm gonna say, uh, Shalom.